what up beautiful people it's your boy mundus and i want to welcome you to the shine of life family i'm back again with another beautiful daily devotional from rhapsody of realities by pastor chris today we're talking about bringing forth good things this is today's bible study we're going to go deep in the word learn the scriptures that will build our faith strong if it's your first time watching i want to welcome you welcome to the family you're going to learn a lot about God's word as you change your life. So watch the video to the end. Don't be in a rush. Don't be in a rush to skip it through, rush through it. No, let's watch it to the end and let's pray together and make changes. So without further ado, I hope you had a great day. I hope you're winning, successful. I hope your year is going great for you. No matter what you're going through, we always got God's word. And that's what we do here in the Shine Life family. We learn the word that will build us up. So let's get into it. We're talking about bring forth good things i like that i like when the word of god gives you practical information to use you know how we need how we need this i need this so let me our uh, theme scriptures taken from the book of luke chapter 6 and verse 45 so i'm gonna read this and then we'll dissect by the way this wraps up the by pastor chris if you're not aware this is the best and the biggest devotional in the whole world and every single day we study it we go through it it helps you learn the word. It helps you understand the Bible. So this is what we do. So let me read it. It says, A good man, out of the good treasure of his heart, bringeth forth that which is good. And an evil man, out of the evil treasure of his heart, bringeth forth that which is evil. For out of the abundance of the heart, his mouth speaketh. This, um, there's a lot of principles, there's a lot of information going on here. Divine wisdom is being communicated to us. And this is what Jesus, this is what Jesus is saying. But let me read the first paragraph. So Pastor Chris says, some Christians will say, the greatest thing that happened to me was when I was born again. But in actual sense, nothing happened to you when you were born again. You are the one that happened on the scene. You came alive in the spirit. When a baby when a baby is born, you don't say something has happened to that baby. It is the child that happened or came into this world. Hmm. Let me read on to the next one because I, I, I wanna. It's important to us. So, it's, so Pascal said it's important that you understand this, for it will give you an idea how God wants you to think and live as a kingdom person. You have been brought into Christ. A place where nothing should happen to you, rather you make things happen. You bring for you bring for good things. Hallelujah. So this is that's what I'm saying. Some mentality Jesus is trying to make us have. He says, we are not seeking external influences to determine our lives. If only I could have this, then this will happen. He says we we don't wait. There's some people who believe in luck and um. In chance, I was like, oh yeah, if it's my turn, if it just happens, thank God. But he says, no, as a, as, a, as a good man, you bring out good things. The good treasure, he says, the good treasure of your heart. If you're evil, he says, you bring out the evil. He says, because out of the abundance of your heart, the way you bring it out is by your mouth. This is a divine. Jesus says, you can bring out good things in your mouth with your mouth. And, and these good things, the beautiful thing, they're not outside. They're not somewhere else. They say it's in you. It's in your spirit, and you re you you pull them out with your mouth. This is because they're in you, and it's, it is good treasure. So think about this. I, I'm just I was just thinking about it. Like think about the whole world, right? God has placed so much wealth in the world, so much treasure, riches. We, we we got nation that has gold, oil, natural resources, beauty, hidden treasure, and in fact, to find go to find to find maybe these treasures like gold. If you think about it, all the major treasures in the world that people call treasures, like diamonds, uh, gold, even oil, you don't find it in the surface. You don't just walk around it's like oh I was just walking down the street and, and I was in a I was walking down and I stumbled to a, a rock. It was gold. It was diamonds. No, no, no. You they you dig deep to find all these rare minerals and, 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 and treasures. 
you got a mind very deep i i, I like watching that i used to watch that i don't know if it's still on um it's called gold, gold rush it's a tv it's like i like to watch your discovery channel so they will go and ma looking for gold in like different parts in alaska actually is it in alaska somewhere somewhere there and they'll have to dig deep they'll have this sophisticated machinery they'll have to dig deep in the ground to pull the gold out and refine the gold and then some other uh, programs they'll go look for diamonds and they'll, they'll you, know, you seen the diamond mines the diamond mines are deep they go deep 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 to discover the greatest treasures even for all they have these all rigs some of them go in the middle of the sea and they have to dig all the way deep you know this mirror is what god has done to us because the natural kind of explains the spiritual um because uh we learn all truth is parallel so that means if we can if the things in the natural like that god has taught all treasures to in our spirits all these treasures all these beautiful things about our lives god has hid them he has hid all those things and the key word is what hid because if it was not hid oh oh think about it right in a natural sense in a natural sense, the diamonds, the gold, the, the, the special minerals, the rubies, you don't find them in the surface. They are hid. And it takes man to use machinery, to use his knowledge, to dig deep to find these treasures because they are hidden. They are hidden riches. It's the same way in the realm of the spirit. God has hid these riches, these treasures, these beautiful things about our lives. He's hid them in our spirits. You might be thinking, oh, you're just saying. No, I'm not just saying it. Let me show you this. <laughs> it's all in the scriptures, right? It is all in the word. Alrighty. Let us look at. I like that. I am reading the book of Colossians, right? Before, let's go Colossians. Uh, let's go in Colossians chapter 1. Verse. Colossians chapter 1 verse. 26. We know this. This is amazing. It says, even the mystery. Look at that. This is one of the mysteries that was hid. This is just one hidden mystery he says even the mystery which has been hid from ages and from generations but now is made manifest to his saints what is that mystery god to whom god will make known what is the riches what is the riches of the glory of this mystery <laughs> among the gentiles what is this mystery christ in you the hope of glory christ is in us Christ in us so we, we we have established the mystery all that God wanted was to come and live in us Christ in us that's even big on its own but I want you to pay attention to that so Christ in us we agreed Christ is in us so let's go to Colossians chapter 2 verse 3 verse 2 verse 3 in whom because if we, for you to understand verse 3 you need to go verse 2 so because let's read the if we read the last bit of verse 2 it says to the acknowledgement of the mystery of god let's start from verse 2 it says that their hearts may have been comforted and meet need together in love unto all the riches of the full assurance of understanding to the acknowledgement of the mystery of god and of the father i know that's a deep verse i'm, I'm i'll probably need to read it to, to understand it but the, that's not the point the point is to the acknowledgement of the mystery of god and of the father and of christ so the last the last word right there in verse 2 is of christ and it's like a semicolon so he last stopped talking about of christ and then for verse 3 says in whom who are we talking about he says of christ in whom so we're talking about christ in whom are hid all the treasures 
of wisdom and knowledge. Christ, in whom God has hid the very same way he is in the natural realm, he's hid the diamonds, the golds, the hidden in, in different places underneath the earth. And man has to use machinery, man has to use his wisdom to find where is these minerals are, where is the oil, where is the secret places of oil, where can we dig deep to find? He says, and I said the natural realm mirrors the spiritual realm. In the spirit realm, he's hid all the treasures, all the diamonds, all the treasures of wisdom, all. He didn't say some every treasure of wisdom and of knowledge have been hid that means if people want to find where these treasures of wisdom and knowledge are they have to go to christ because they have been hid in christ they have been hid in christ all the treasures of wisdom and of knowledge are in christ oh wow that's amazing oh i wish i was i wish i could be able to go to christ I wish I could be in Christ to get this. <laughs> oh man, I wish I could be in Christ. How do I get access to these treasures of wisdom and knowledge? If only there was a way for me to get access. Let me read to you again. <laughs> Colossians chapter 1 verse 26. The mystery which has been hid. From ages to generation, but has been made manifest to the same to whom God will know what's the riches of the glory of this mystery among God, which is Christ in you. Oh, hold on. The hope of glory. So, hold on, Lord, you have hid all the treasures of wisdom and knowledge in Christ, and Christ is in me. So that means all the treasures of wisdom all the treasures of knowledge are in me because Christ is in me and all the treasures of wisdom and knowledge are in Christ and then Christ is in me therefore I have all the treasures I have all the treasures of wisdom I have all the treasures of knowledge this is amazing this is amazing this is amazing Let's, I'm going to show you something else in a sec but think about those thoughts Let's keep on going. God's training in our lives through the Word and the Holy Spirit is for us to take absolute charge of our lives, be independent of circumstances. He wants you to control the good things that come to you and make a choice not to let bad things in because your spirit produces righteousness only. Read our opening verse again. Jesus said, A good man, out of the good treasure of his heart, bring it forth that which is good. An evil man, out of the evil treasure of his heart, bring it forth which is evil. For, the, for of the abundance of the heart, his mouth speaketh. So we got good treasures of wisdom and knowledge. It's not, there's no point of that treasure just being in us. It's, think about it. If the gold and the minerals is beautiful, golds and diamonds in Africa or maybe oil in certain places, that's cool. But it does not benefit man to have those riches hidden. Just the mere fact you can say, oh, this country has a lot of oil. That's nice. But what's the point of that? If we're not using the oil, if we're not bringing out the oil and using it, we can say, oh, this place has a lot of oil reserves. Yeah, that's good information, but it's not beneficial information. It's good to know it's there. But you know what would be better? If we can pull it out and use it. And this is what Jesus said. He says, you have good treasure in you, but that's not good enough. He says, from the abundance of that treasure, you need to speak and pull the treasure that's in you already. Pull it out so you can start enjoying it. We have all the treasures of wisdom and knowledge. It's, it's good. But it's not good enough until we start using it. Until, and how do we do this? How do we do this? I, I, we wish Jesus is telling us by your mouth. With your mouth. Oh, 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 oh. There is so much to talk about. Let's look at um, a father study in Psalm chapter 37. Let's, let me read this. 
we're learning practically how to use the word i'm excited because i'm learning too i'm learning this information with you i'm like oh dear lord this is amazing i want to use this i'm gonna put this to work so we have the treasures of wisdom and knowledge we have good treasure in us we have established that Christ is in us Christ is of treasures and wisdom we know that we pull it out with your with our mouth with our words that's how we we mine we mine the gold we excavate the oil like i said if you look at the natural realm things that god has put naturally there's a correlation with the spirit realm. let's look at some 37 amazing realities oh i'm looking at looking at some 37 right verse 30 this part of other studies look at this it says the mouth of of the righteous speaketh wisdom and his tongue talketh of judgment the law of his god in his, is in his heart none of his steps shall slide <laughs> none of my steps shall slide he said the mouth of the righteous speaketh wisdom for us to release wisdom we need to talk wisdom The mouth of the righteous speaking. Ooh, let me share another scripture. Another scripture. Mm, I'm reading the book of First Corinthians, verse six. Let me highlight this so you can see. Oh, this is a beautiful chapter. You can read all that. So this is how Paul says. He says, "How be it, we speak wisdom among them that are perfect, yet not the wisdom of this world, nor of the princes of this world." That come to know. They say we don't speak this human wisdom, but we speak the wisdom of God in a mystery. Even the hidden wisdom, which God ordained before the found before the world unto our glory, the hidden wisdom. Did we not just read in Colossians? In Christ are hid all treasures of wisdom. This is that hidden wisdom. He says you need to pull it out by speaking it out. Which none of the princes. Of this world knew for had they known it they would have not crucified the lord of glory ah uh, uh, uh. and then verse 13 is amazing it says with things also we speak not in the words which man's wisdom teaches but which the holy ghost teaches comparing spiritual things with spiritual things we speak wisdom speaking wisdom is speaking god's word this is speaking wisdom. Speaking wisdom is releasing words and saying, I got the treasure of wisdom or knowledge in me. That's speaking wisdom. Acknowledging what God says is speaking wisdom. You, that's how you ex excavate wisdom. By speaking wisdom, wisdom starts working in our lives. Hey, 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 so much talk. Let me show you another scripture. Let's talk about wisdom. Uh, man, we're going deep in the scriptures. This is like we, we're mining a lot of gold. We are mining a lot of things. Uh, no, what's there? I think is it Proverbs eight? I believe. Is it Proverbs eight? Yes, this is about. Let's learn about rich wisdom. Who is wisdom? What is wisdom? So I am reading. I'm not going. Oh my God! You you need to read Proverbs chapter eight verse. The whole chapter is about wisdom. But let's start from. Let me read quick. Does not wisdom cry? Verse 8, uh, chapter 1. And understanding put forth her voice. She standeth in the top of high places, by the way, in the places of the path. She cries at the gates, at the entry of the city, at the coming in, at the doors. Unto you, O men, I call. My voice is to the sons of men. O ye simple, understand wisdom. Ye fools, be of an understanding heart. Hear, for I will speak of excellent things. And the opening of my lips shall be right things. For my mouth shall speak truth, and wickedness is an abomination to my lips. All the words of my mouth are in righteousness. There is nothing for or perverse in them. They are plain to him that understanding, and right to them that finding all. This is wisdom speaking. Receive my instruction, not silver, knowledge rather than gold. We just read. In Christ is hid all treasures of wisdom and knowledge. Why did God not say in Christ is hid all gold, all diamonds, 
all rubies all oil all the money is in christ why did god not say that why did he say in christ is hid all treasures of wisdom all and he and he uses that word treasures all treasures of wisdom meaning every treasure that belongs to wisdom and knowledge all the treasures of wisdom and knowledge are in christ why did he not say all oh, gold is in christ all oh, diamonds is in christ we're going to find out. Wisdom t- is talking to us in verse 10. He says, receive my instruction. Don't go for silver. Knowledge rather than choice gold. And he says in verse 11, for wisdom is better than rubies. And all things that, that may be desired are not to be compared to it. I, wisdom, dwell with prudence and find out knowledge of witty inventions. Oh God, the fear of the Lord is to hate evil, pride, and arrogance, and and the evil way. The forward mouth do I hate. Wisdom is speaking. Counsel is mine. Sound wisdom. I am understanding. I have strength. By me, kings reign and princes decree justice. By me, princes rule and the nobles, even all the judges of the earth. I love them that love me. And those that seek me early will find me. Oh, verse 18 riches and honor are with are with me yea durable riches and righteousness my fruit is better than gold yea than fine gold and my revenue than choice silver i rest my case wisdom tells us riches are with him durable riches are with him he says I am better than gold, better than the best gold, and my revenue is better than silver. So God is in fact telling us every money, all the riches, all the wealth are in Christ. Because you have wisdom and wisdom owns all the riches and the wealth. They all belong to wisdom. So we have all the treasures of money in us, dear Lord. And we pull it out with our mouth, with our words. We're going to find out more about that. I want go, go read Romans, no Romans, Proverbs chapter 8. I'm going to read that. That's beautiful. Oh, let me go back to it. Just hold on a second. Hold on a second. I just saw something real quick. Oh my goodness gracious me, dear Lord, wisdom. Um, He says, I lead in the way of righteousness in the midst of the path of judgment that I may cause that that I may cause those that love me to inherit substance and I will fill their treasures it says wisdom will cause you to have wealth because it belongs to him he says I will cause those that love me to inherit substance. That means riches. Amazing. Amazing, amazing realities here. Okay, let's keep on reading. <clears throat> right. So, Pascal says, Notice he didn't say good things happen to the good man, but the good man, out of the good treasure of his heart, brings forth good things. You bring forth your prosperity, your promotion, your joy, and every blessing you want to enjoy in life from within. They're all in you. No wonder the Bible says he has set eternity in our hearts. Then in John 7, 38, Jesus said, He that believeth on me, as the scriptures have said, out of his belly shall flow rivers of living water out of your heart. So whatever you will want, we pull it out from within by speaking it out. That's what we do. We can say it out because we have it. If we didn't have it, we couldn't have it. Because he said, you have the good treasure in you and you release it by speaking it. If you just spoke it and you didn't have it, it won't work. But we have it. We've been told the treasures of wisdom and knowledge are in us. Good treasure. Jesus says good treasures in us. And that's the treasure of wisdom. That's what he's talking about. The treasure of wisdom. God has hid it. He's hid it in us. And we excavate it. We mine it with our words. Amazing realities, man. 
and this is one way we have to do it. Let's do it. We're going to do it right now. Practical Christianity. So let's take this confession together. Don't you say this after me? I bring forth good things today from within me. In all that I do, I exude excellence, perfection, and righteousness. I have insight into mysteries and secrets, bringing forth creative ideas because Christ has been made Unto me wisdom. I initiate success, victory, divine health, and prosperity from within. In Jesus' name. Amen and amen. You can read further studies in Matthew chapter 12, 12 verse 35, Psalm 37, 32, 31, uh, the book of Philemon, or Philemon chapter 1 verse 6. And you can go through the whole Bible in one year or two years. Uh, by picking a plan that works for you. Amazing realities. Let me know what the Spirit of God is mentioning to you. This has been amazing, man. I want to put this to work. Uh, it's just been an amazing revelation from God. And we're grateful for the Spirit of God to teach us the Scripture. We're grateful for Rhapsody for showing us this. How would we learn this? No one's going to teach you this in school. Even when I go, you know, no one's going to teach you this. So let me know in the comment section what the Spirit of God is ministering to you. And I want to pray with you. Um, if you're not born again, you're not in Christ. Therefore, you don't have the treasures of wisdom and knowledge. For you to receive this treasure, you need to be you need to be a good man. How do you how do you become a good man? It's not by the works you do. It's not by oh yeah, help people. No, it's by believing in Jesus and you become born again. That's how you become a good man. It's a nature, it's a nature thing, not an action-based thing. It's based on nature. So I want you to say this prayer after me and mean it with all your heart. Just repeat this. Oh Lord God. I believe with all my heart in Jesus Christ, Son of the living God. I believe He died for me and God raised Him from the dead. I believe He's alive today. I confess with my mouth that Jesus Christ is the Lord of my life from this day. Through Him and in His name, I have eternal life. I'm born again. Thank you, Lord, for saving my soul. I'm now a child of God. Congratulations. If you say that prayer, you're born again. Welcome to the family. Subscribe to this channel. There's a lot of videos that's going to help you out to learn this word, to learn to walk in God, to walk in the things of God, and you just watch your life make progress. So welcome to the family. And for everyone else that's watching, I want to pray with you. I pray that the wisdom of God will be manifested in your life in a greater measure, in a greater glory than ever before. You walk in tremendous blessings that you have never known. Ideas for witty inventions will be revealed to you. Treasures of wisdom are revealed to you. You walk in it and none of your steps slide. Whatever you do will succeed. The wisdom to do it, the wisdom to start it, to establish it, is granted you. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen and amen. Wow. Thank you once again for watching. Until tomorrow, it's been your boy Mundus. Be victorious and prosperous in all you do. God bless you.